Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have what I melted the last half of May 2019. And if I do say so myself, I feel like I did pretty good because a lot of these things are bags and um, the things that you are going to see that I have not completed melting when it comes to the actual melts, I'm actually gonna throw them into my, um, my melting basket for June. So I'm hoping those ones will be gone next month. I'm really trying to do well with not purchasing and using what I have. I have a plethora of it. So, um, and I'm about to move. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am moving from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada to Halifax, Nova Scotia. So that's for the Americans, it would be the distance of going from like San Francisco to Maine, like the, the state of Maine to from the state of California. So anyway, um, yeah, so when I'm trying to <laughs> use my candles, I have very few candles left. Um, and I'm okay with that. And I know, of course, I'm looking forward to fall and winter. Probably will be when I purchase more down the road because of the ambiance and things like that. But I haven't really burned a lot and I don't have a whole lot left. So, but uh, we'll start with these ones as you see. This is um, an older jar of suntan. Not my favorite scent. I love a specific kind of suntan scent. And to me, it's it, Bath and Body Works suntan is not my favorite. I know it's loved and adored by so many people out there. They, it's a huge fan base. It comes back every year. I don't like it. Um, I did purchase this obviously a while ago. You can start to tell it's a really thick glass. I do like the jar. It's beautiful. These thicker glasses, the ones that also have like the ribbed on the outside, tend to burn. The burn is absolutely stunning on them because um, they retain the heat. And so anyway, the burn's always good. So far I have a little tiny smidging of sitting a little bit on the edge you can't see just on the side but you'll likely see those in the empties in june and we'll go back to the bath and body works over here which is copper coconut one of my favorites i know it's one of brenda's from uh, pretty polka dots it's a buttery coconut scent that's how i can describe it that's how i have described it in the past it's a very buttery um not a sweet coconut but a nice buttery not suntan coconut that's how I can describe it. And this one here is, <clears throat> excuse me, this one here is actually, I can't remember the name of the brand. It's actually, a, this is a wine bottle that they've sliced off the top from the Burrowing Owl Estate Winery, but the candle itself, and I forgot the little slip is in my other box there, but uh, you know, again, I'll bring this forward. It'll be an empty likely for June. Uh, and to tell you the company, it is made in the Okanagan Valley here in British Columbia. They take jars, uh, wine jar, uh, bottles, and obviously slice them in half, and they pour them with different scents. This one is a, I can't remember, I think it is a Chardonnay type scent. So it is really lovely, but I definitely need a smaller room. I use this in the bathroom right now. So that's in my bathroom at the moment. These two are in my great room here that I'm pairing together. They're both strong, but I have to say copper coconut wins with strength. Copper coconuts tans out so much more. Um, the suntan one, thankfully, doesn't for me because, I mean, again, I'm not trying to insult anyone. If you love Bath & Body Works suntan, by all means, love it. Just not my favorite, so I'm just trying to blast through it. I would definitely repurchase the copper coconut, probably never to repurchase the sun tan scent because it's not my thing. This one I'm just waiting to sort of see. It's not a strong throw because um, they're expensive candles. I mean, they're $22 a piece. They, they're, they're beautiful. I love Burrowing Owl Winery. It is a, one of the many, many wineries of my hometown where I was pretty much raised my entire life. Um, but I wouldn't repurchase for $22 if it doesn't do well. The burn so far is fantastic. The throw is mediocre. It's like a bit about a five out of 10. So, and then that's in a smaller room. So ambiance is cool, but all right, on to some of the wax that I melted, but have not gotten through all of it. <clears throat> so we have Vintage Cheeks Scents Pop Art, and this is described as a lemon cake topped with sweet blackberry ice cream. This is lovely. And you can see how old the pour date is on this. I have no trouble with throw on this at all. Um, this is the Chantilly Shatter, so they're big chunks with this really cool Chantilly lace kind of um, decoration on the top. Basically, it's a mold of some kind, but it's beautiful. And I'm, this is gonna go into my melting basket for June as well. So again, like I said before, everything you see here that I haven't finished, gonna go into my June basket. I really like this one. Um, I've been melting it out in the living room exclusively, and it's quite nice, and it's just lovely. Like I love um, Blackberry. 
I'd say actually the blackberry is dominant just. I want to say, it, I don't know about ice cream, but I definitely get blackberry and I get lemon cakey note, like a bakery note. I'm going to say a 60 40 split. So 60 being the blackberry slash ice cream, and the 40 is the lemon cake, uh, which is really nice because normally when you have lemon in anything, lemon is the thing that takes over all. So. All right, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of mini melters here from Rose Girls. Um, I'm gonna try to show them to you how I melted them. Um, but some of them are empty. All right, well, we'll do this here. Oh, here it is. So as I did last year, I melted Blue Hawaiian and Serendipity. So for those of you, again, these are Rose Girls mini melters. So there's these little tiny little cubes and you can blend. The nice thing about it is you can blend and make your own uh, kind of scent. So I have the Blue Hawaiian and Serendipity and that's how I'm gonna, use this up probably um there's only three little cubes left of serendipity so i'm likely to use that up next month as a combo still and then there's blue hawaiian these are smaller little, little chunks here um but i love them they are so good yum all righty okay so i did a uh, pair on its own again mini melters from rose girls i did pair on its own there's only well there's still quite a bit left here but I also melted a pear with Macintosh Madness, which is one of my favorite. I love Mac Apple, and to me, Mac Apple, although synonymous in my brain, to fall and where I grew up. Really, Mac Apple can be any time of year, in my mind. You can pretty much melt it at any time. So I've done pear on its own, I've done Macintosh, Ab Macintosh Madness on its own, but I've also blended these two together. Um, I tend to use a bigger chunk of pear with a smaller chunk of Macintosh apple or Macintosh madness, sorry, because the Macintosh can be overbearing. So that's what I do. And that's an, again, a nice thing about these little squares is that if you know that there's a scent that's more dominant, then you use a smaller amount of that and then a little bit bigger chunks of other things. Um, okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you, I have done this combo and it's been really good. And sort of speaking on things that are strong, these next three I melted together. Marshmallow Smoothie, Rose Girls, of course. Absolute Coffee, Rose Girls. And Raspberry Sauce, Rose Girls. Now, my fiance's favorite fruit, any dessert, is raspberry. So what I was doing is, because I know that my Absolute Coffee is one of my favorites of all coffee blends, it happens to be from Rose Girls, I take a small a little little square of this and put it in my melter with a large slice of raspberry sauce with a medium size marshmallow smoothie and it makes a lovely combo because of that these two kind of equate this one strong scent oh sorry these two here equate this really strong one on absolute coffee so they do a great balance again it's one of those things where i've had to play around to find out what works for me, that kind of thing. Um, I really love that. I will continue to melt it like that on weekends. I'm almost out of absolute coffee. Again, I'm not buying anything right now and I'm about to move clear across the country. So I won't be buying anything likely until I've moved, settled in, and if something happens to pop up that I feel like I need, right? Need in quotes. Oh, I wanna show you my new nails, my Constellation nails. I don't know if you can see that, but there's they're so cool. I love them. It's matte black and then like glitter and then like some stars. So, oh there. All right. Anyway, then we have a Vintage Chic Sense, a million dollar mermaid in beds and the winged mermaid overpour, which is described as fresh ocean water, sea berries, bergamot, white musk, shimmering blue lagoons, salty sea air and coconut overpour. And this was a whole loaf. I've been really using this up exclusively in my bathroom. Um, yeah, this is a bathroom scent for me. Although if I have some more of this, maybe by July, if I still have some in July, because this is gonna go in my June basket, I would probably melt this maybe in my living room because it is like a very summery scent. But right now, I'd say my bathroom is doing well. It's throwing wonderfully uh, and I'm really enjoying it. So that is that. The last item that I didn't complete, but I've melted half of this, is Pink Sugar and Gourmet Sugar Cookies. I, I really like this one. It's really nice. I love Pink Sugar, the sugar cookie scent, um, just bakery goodness. And this, I what I did is, I probably cut, I sliced this into six pieces. This was a huge, huge cookie. Rainbow Melts does 
wax really really well and like i say less is more with her and i could probably even split these in half and get even more like instead of splitting this so i had six pieces originally i could even cut all my pieces in half to get 12 because i really don't need a lot for such a great throw with her wax but this is really really nice if you like pink sugar if you like a sugar cookie I think it's a fantastic blend. I melted this one in my great room. I will say, although um, the pink did leave a pink dye, I'm a freezer method person when it comes to removing my wax. I turn my melters off, let them cool, take them to the freezer when cooled, let it, it only needs like 10 minutes really to freeze that wax so it contracts. So that way you can pick it up and like and pop it out and replace it. But when I pop them out, I will say that um, the pink did leave a bit of a dye color behind in my, well, in the two warmers I use with this are white, but it's easily cleaned, so it's not a big deal, but just be aware that some colors can do that. All right, let's go on to some of the things that I melted completely. And again, this is where I feel like I had a lot more success because some of these things were big bags or, you know, they were once loaves at one point. So I finished and completed Vintage Chic Scents Mrs. DiMaggio's Dream. Described as blonde moments, strawberry, raspberry, guava, cotton candy, plastic. Really enjoyed this. I might, what I would do is probably not buy a full loaf in this, but rather if there were a shape or two, I might buy like two little like heart shapes. I don't know, she always has different ones or the unicorn or whatever. Um, would probably be enough to slice up. I got a great throw out of this. This was um, poured just over a year ago, but I had a great success throw story whatever <laughs> with that one it was great i really enjoyed it all right still the uh, vcs this is a grandma's pearls margo's ballerina clouds with jackie o marshmallow lavender vanilla and then i skipped because i don't think i found where margo's ballerina clouds were i don't know and marshmallow birthday cake vanilla bean noel this was really nice uh vanilla bean noel definitely comes out uh the lavender Again, not an herbal lavender because of everything that else is in here, even though I don't have the I'm sure someone if you know what the if you know what Bella Margo's ballerina clouds are, please by all means. That's why I have that little line there because I'm like I couldn't find it on the website when I was doing the stickers at the time. But um the lavender in this is sweetened. So even if it did start off as herbal, it's definitely sweetened because of the marshmallow, the vanilla. Uh, vanilla bean noel the birthday cake all of that stuff so i really like this it was a big block uh the luxe size blossom bag i've been so long since i ordered but um so there are lots of shapes they were like the coins they were little tiny like rosebuds but then there was also the typical roses that um i know as, to me is synonymous i think of those roses i think of vintage chic scent so i really like this i probably would repurchase this again but not necessarily in the bulk that i used to Again, that's another thing that I've been gotten, getting smart about is I'm not purchasing for the sake of buying the biggest and the most amount because my collection is so large. And I'm not trying to let brag, but I, you know, like I said, many times I'm trying to just get through what I have because I have a lot. Then we have VCS's Lady Diana's Dress of the Century, which they were missing a letter. <laughs> it wasn't even rubbed off. It's like a letter gone. This is Wedding Cake Coconut Cream with Sweet Blackberry Compote. This was lovely. Uh, creamy. I wish the coconut came out a little bit more. I definitely got blackberry and the cake. Um, but I wish, yeah, I wish the coconut would have come out a little bit. Because you guys, I love coconut. Except I don't like suntan by Bath & Body Works. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, and then this one here is Jackie O's Cup of Joe. This was in the Coffee Quartet um the dahlias they were bigger so i split them in four this is described as marshmallow birthday cake vanilla bean noel and something else i don't know that's obviously a copy i don't like this i have it melting right now and i left to go to get my nails done and i came back home and i walked in my door and i went Ugh, i don't know again i'm not trying to offend anybody who really enjoys this blend in particular I came in and it smelled like burnt chocolate slash burnt honey. Ugh. I don't like it. I, I would not personally repurchase this at all. I love coffee scents. This was just not one of the ones I enjoy at all. So yeah, probably would not be purchasing that ever again. Um, but that was a quartet, so it came with the other three. So anyway, then we have Southbound. Oh, you guys. This is truly one of my favorite Southbound Candle Co. blends ever. 
Strawberry Seduction, Strawberry Frosting, Fresh Baked Sugar Cookies, Yellow Cake, and Fresh Picked Strawberries. It's bliss. If you love strawberry and if you like bakery, you will absolutely... I feel like I want to eat this. The strawberry in this is really good. I, I really feel that the strawberry in Southbound, at least in this blend, is fantastic. Hands down, one of my favorite blends from Southbound Candle Co. ever. Um, I know she does re, you know, restocks and whatnot. And she had this as part of her restock not not long ago. Not not a ready to ship, but I should say not a restock. It was a cut, um, a pre order that she does quite often with these bags. They're like ten dollar bags. There's a lot of wax. The shapes are absolutely adorable and sometimes really funny. Um, the blends are really good. I'm not a fan of her lavender because I feel like Southbound's lavender is mostly herbal. So if you love herbal lavender, check out Southbound. If you don't, I would avoid maybe avoid the lavender blends anyway. But anyway, I really love this 100%. If this came in a loaf form, I would absolutely purchase it when and if I was in, well, not if, eventually, when when I was in the right frame to be purchasing. Like, I'm not moving and I'm trying to get rid of myself. <clears throat> Super Tarts Frosted Tangerine Roses, Buttercream, Tangy Tangerine, and Rose Cream. I have fallen in love with this and I have everything to thank to um, Brenda at Pretty Polka Dots. She talked about this forever and I really love this. Now, I don't like, I didn't, didn't think I liked Super Tarts Rose Cream because there's been some blends like they're trying to do the rose jam thing and it just didn't work out. But I think between the buttercream and the tangerine and this rose cream, they are so good together. This was a BAM bag, so they were big chunks and I melted this exclusively in my bedroom. Really, really enjoyed this. I would 100%, and oh, there's my hair. I would 100% repurchase that in a heartbeat. No problems, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right, on to some different blends here. We have the Olive Lemon Grove, and the sticker's gone, but it's sort of, it was definitely an olive oil and some lemon. I got a little bit more actually of the olive oil than I did the lemon, but it's, I'd say 60, 40 as well. So olive oil was the 60 and the lemon was the 40. I really enjoyed this one. It was a really nice, refreshing. That's a little smudgy mark where there was a rose at one time. Again, I'm trying to pick out my wax. That's the oldest one. So these ones are pretty old, but you know what? Bathing garden, I always use two cubes in my great room and one cube in my bedroom or bathroom, I should say. Um, to get the best throw in my home, in my warmers. Everyone's different. But this was lovely. I really enjoy this. And if I were to see this and I was in, again, the, the purchasing mood, I would probably pick that up if it was available. I think when I did pick that up, it was a cent of the month or something. Like we're talking, like I say, a long time ago that I got that. That's October 26, 2017 when I received it. But I remember what I was telling you about Southbound Soap or Southbound Candle Co. and their lavender. I was a little silly. I was like, oh yeah, I'll try your lavender laundry because, excuse me, I have hip, hiccups. Because maybe it's really gonna be good. No, I didn't like it because, okay. Fresh laundry hanging out to dry in a lavender field. It's herbal. So the herbal lavender for me, because I don't like it, stood out for me so much stronger than the laundry, which I love laundry, so any kind of laundry. I personally wouldn't purchase this, but I stand by what I said earlier. If you are an herbal lavender fan in blends, definitely check Southbound Candle Co. Um, but I just find that that's a no. Okay, guys, I found a dupe. And I have no problem saying what the dupes are. Not at all. So this, Southbound Candle Co., pink laundry described as pink sugar, fresh greenery, lavender, vanilla, rose, jasmine, melon, and fresh air. I'm going to tell you right now. This is pink sugar, and it's like uh, like a laundry scent. I don't get jasmine, rose, melon, like the fresh air, whatever is in laundry typically. This is a dupe from Minerva of Super Tarts. So again, and I like to tell you guys this because if for whatever reason Super Tarts does not have Minerva in stock very often, which they don't, then an NEC Southbound Camel Co Company come out with a blend like Pink Laundry, get it. And vice versa, if Southbound Candle Co. doesn't have Pink Laundry, check out Super Tarts, Minerva, 
they're identical. I'm telling you because Minerva is something I, if again, if I was into purchasing large amounts of wax, I would have bought a super pan that she was pouring where Minerva was one of the options in super tarts. I 100% love that scent and I would have absolutely not batted an eye to purchase an entire loaf because that's how much I love it. This is identical. That's where I'm going to leave it. So speaking of super tarts, <laughs> um, we've got Jaws, which is a sea salt, fresh air, sea grass, sliced plum, and sweet pear. This is one of the OGs of super tarts. I love Jaws. You're either a Jaws fan or you're not. What I will say, and what you will see actually over here, we have the Great White, which is crisp white tea and Jaws. So any blend in the Jaws collection or line that's blended with Jaws, obviously, the Jaws portion stands out. And then the things like crisp white tea kind of come in or the pink sugar or orange or uh, pomegranate, all that stuff. But I love it. And my fiance, every time I, he doesn't know what I melt. And the guy has a really bad sense of smell, which is kind of funny, the two of us together. He's been in the Navy for 24 years. And for 15 of those years, he's been in the submarines. Now, I personally have been down in his boat a couple of times. And it does. I totally understand why his sense of smell is gone because when you're trapped down there for months on end in under the water for God, you know, for months on end with a bunch of stinky guys and gals, um, all I could smell was diesel. That's like, as a person with a strong sense of smell, all I could smell is diesel. So I kind of feel bad for the guy because he can't smell well. But what I'm trying to say is every time he walks by when I'm melting one of these, again, he doesn't know what I'm melting. He does. He's just like, as long as it makes you happy, which hey, that is good key to a relationship. <laughs> Part of it anyway, if you want to have a YouTube channel that your home fragrance uh, pretty much dominant, is that he's like, this smells like an expensive hotel. Every time, it doesn't matter if it's Jaws or anything blended with Jaws, it's like, it smells like an expensive hotel. So he likes it. That When he says stuff like that, I know he enjoys it. So that's when I'm like, Hmm, good thing I like it because I will be repurchasing it. Then we have Flash. I purchased this in a D-stash. This is fresh picked strawberries, a sweet lemonade, and creamy cake. Um, I received it August 30th, 2017. I don't know when it was purchased. I bought it in a D-stash here in Canada from another waxy, which was awesome. Really like this one. Um, less is more, I should say, with with super tarts. One cube will do all a wine. You don't need more than one cube, really. Um, unless you have an absolutely a massive home. But this is really good. I would say the sweet lemonade stood out more than the strawberries. I didn't really get cake. But anyway, I like that. I would probably purchase that down the road. I wouldn't buy a super pan of it like I would Minerva or a couple other things. But I did enjoy it. <clears throat> so, so thankful and happy. When I was visiting Ramona, she had melted down a small candle of this scent from this company. And we melt it and put them into the little cool little silicone shapes. And I have a huge bag of it now. I was holding on to this thing for, for a while because I was afraid that I wouldn't get it anymore. And I love this. Sun-drenched apricot rose. This is fantastic. Um, I love this one. It's so good. I don't like roses, but yet I say that. And I'm really finding like the roses tangerine rose cream tangerine from super Heart. love love this i love some of my skincare that has roses in it but i think it's a the difference is it's not my grandma's rose it's not old and you know like old stale rose it smells like i'm actually picking up a rose walking by and giving it a nice sniff that's the kind of rose i enjoy this is so good and the apricot is so scrumptious with this it's almost innocent like i feel like sun-drenched apricot rose is a very innocent very sweet scent and sweet like as in like taste but also but smell sweet smell but also just a sweet innocence so <laughs> if i could repurchase this i absolutely would if you can get your hands on it give it a smell first if it's up your alley definitely buy it so good Blackberry Cashmere Mixable Fragrances from Sensationals. I went been diving about a year and a half ago here in Canada in Walmart. Um, it says made in the USA, but we found all bunch of, a lot of us across Canada found um, these bins, huge, huge bins full of wax. So you dig and you dig and dig. So half blackberry cider and cashmere vanilla. 
I blend these two together 100% of the time. I love it. I think this is my last, I think this was, this was my last one that I uh, purchased. So um, that's sad because I probably won't see it again unless I do another bin thing. So this is from my friend, Sarah, Things I Love 86. And when she came to see us in our hotel room, uh, Ramona and I, when we were in uh, whoop, San Antonio, <laughs> so many trips. Um, San Antonio, she and her kids came over to visit and say hi. It was so awesome. And her youngest son is so cute. He's going to be a womanizer girl. He kept, this is the one he kept repetitively picking up and sniffing and, and giving it to me to smell and we, and over and over again. So to me, I, I that's my thoughts is that he loved this one. Cause there was a, there were so many different waxes he was picking up and we were, you know, smelling them together and stuff. And he kept picking this up. I'm like, Sarah, you, I think your son loves this one. So this is really good through really well in eight out of 10. This is poured in February, 20, 2018. Really, really nice. This is Hayden Road Candle Co. Very, very good. I haven't ordered her from her in a while, but I definitely want to order, place an order again when I'm ready to purchase. Sweet Lavender, I decided to melt this because it's so old. It's from 2017 and um, I'm, not, I'm not hoarding anymore. I am going through my stuff. So anyway, this is from Sugar and Spice uh, Gourmet Soy Candles. I understand, like I, I follow her Facebook page. She's got amazing wax. I'm not gonna purchase any ready to ship. When she's ready and if she's ready, if she does do customs, that's when I'm gonna place a huge order She's an amazing scent list. Her wax is like literally could quarter this little shot and one little piece, like one quarter of this little melt would smell up an entire room. Plus when she was doing uh, customs, you can blend, I think it was up to three different scents, maybe even four. And I have like a list of all the things I want and blends, you know, she is a killer blender. And I'm happy to see that she's kind of come back a little bit. Um, some with some ready to ship, obviously, obviously with wax or sorry, with oils that she has and that kind of thing. But I'm really hoping that someday she will do um, customs, and when that happens, I will be all over that like white on rice. All right, you guys, that is everything. That's a lot. Thank you very much for joining me. I've got a lot of videos to film because it's the end of the month. <laughs> so, <coughs> I'm sorry, to get, start, starting to get a little under the weather, but that's okay because my attitude is like huzzah. So anyway. As always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.